Hey everyone, it's Dr. Linda Kramer and today is Sunday the 24th of April which means today is my tarot reading day. Okay, a couple of messages that I've already received this morning. Now, I don't know what how these interrupt with the, the reading I'm about to do but the messages that I've got this morning I've, I really am getting pushed to let you know two things, okay? First of all, um, whenever I pull out my cards, I don't read the cards. I always keep them face down. So it's like new information when I'm doing my live readings, okay? So right now I've got this one. It's face down on the cabinet. I don't even know what the card is. But I, um, well, I, I don't look it up, okay? This one, all I've got is this information. It's a photo from the Louise Benton range of cards. So I don't read them before I do my readings, okay? So there's no... Um, corruption or no compromise there with my reading okay but the two messages that I got this morning one is it's now time to stop telling others how this is all playing out there's people out there who have slowly woken up over the past two years to what is really going on okay and I hope that you understand that um, YouTube could um, give me a community strike if I do go into this, okay? So I've got to be in code a lot. So <clears throat> we're now working out the um, effects of a certain medical procedure, right? We're working out now that the medical procedure was not a cure, okay? We're working out that um, countries did this deliberately, the C word, okay? Um, so now the message that I'm getting <clears throat> is we're now at that point where stop trying to wake people up. If they're not awake now, they won't, okay? So that's like a little hardball with me because I love sharing on Facebook another person's had a heart attack or here's another um, situation with a country who where this all started back in 2015, okay? So people are waking up, but if they haven't done so yet, they're not going to, okay? There is a um, psychological um, video out there on YouTube if you want to go find it. This guy working for a certain three-letter agency that I call Canaries in Avery's, if you take the three letters, Canaries in Avery's, he actually did a psychological experiment back in the 70s where he said that if you tell some someone something for two years, they will believe it even when they get definitive evidence and proof that it's not true. Their brain will still believe it. So these are the ones that we call sheep, okay? So they're the ones who we still have to be compassionate, understanding, patient, and most of all loving with, okay? But if they're not going to wake up to it now, they won't, okay? The second message that I got this week that is coming in is that now is a time to sit back and relax. This is the time now to really self-analyze and go forward after the past, well, two years that we know, but it's really been seven years in the making, okay? So this is now the time to really relax and get our heads together for what the next stage of this plan is all about okay because next year is going to be a doozy so we've got to stay centered we've got to stay in control of who we are what we do and most of all we've got to know what we believe in is our own thoughts and belief systems and not what's been brought in by an external person or company organization or political party okay so it's time to regather and it's time to really stand in our true form. So they're the two messages that I got this week, okay? So <clears throat> today when I'm doing my tarot cards, she said do the ruins first. Now I like pulling out the ruin live on camera because it's a little bag of all my little ruin stones. Shake, shake, shake. And I'm just connecting with her so it's like I'm just talking to her off in another room. Hello. Can you please give me a ruin that the whole world needs for the next week? 
And as you can see, I don't look into this deck, but I'm just, oh, there he is. He's nice and hot. It's this one down the bottom. No, it's a little one. Oh, okay. Don't think I've ever had this one before, but he was nice and hot in my hands. So let's start today's tarot reading. I'm going to go over to my ruin guide. So I'm going to find what this guy looks like. I, hold, I hope I'm holding him right because I've never had this one before. So let me just look into my ruins and let me find him, this really crazy M type thing. Where is he? Here he is. Oh. oh it's called the Dice Cup. Okay, so he's here. It says Dice Cup. And let me just hold him around so you can see that that's the ruin that I'm about to read. Here he comes. Okay, so that's the one I've got. This one is about to be read. Okay, so let me just put him back into there. Okay. It's called Perth Row is the stone. The ruin cup used for gambling by Nordic fighters to test their good fortune. The symbol of luck, mysteries, secrets, things that may be hidden. Okay, so it's got three little dot points. So I'm going to read these ones out. A signal that something that was previously hidden. Example, a secret, an object or some good fortune is about to come to light. Now, remember what I just said off before, before I did this, this thing, <laughs> the last two years, this thing hasn't been just for two years. It's been since 2015. Okay. So it's a sign that something that was previously hidden is now coming out. This is great news for the planet. Yes. Second point, generally a positive ruin. I like that one. So good things are coming to those who create it, right? We think we create, right? And the last one says an opportunity, a new retrieval of something lost, an unexpected win. Now, when we think of wins, guys, it's not just going out. Now, remember this, it actually said the Perth, now, the Perth Row stone is a gambling stone. It's what the Nordics use for gambling, right? Don't think of it as physically going to the casino. Okay. We've got to think outside that um, box. Okay. This could be the gamble that you have on your health. Do I give up a habit? Do I start doing something better for my health? So it could be a health gamble. It could be a job gamble. I don't like this job that I'm doing. Maybe I should go into a new field or new something, something to study or I'm letting go of something. It's a gamble, right? Could be a gamble with how you treat your friends, how you treat your family, how you treat or interact with your neighbors. Okay. Oh, I've always done this for them and I don't feel like I'm appreciated. So I'm going to change it around a little bit. Okay. Let them know now that we've got boundaries and rules, boundaries and rules. Thank you so much for saying that. I just heard her say it and I just repeated it. Okay. That's how I get my information as a psychic. She talks, I listen, I repeat. <laughs> I am just the communication device at the end of the day, right? So it's not just my ego playing when I do my readings. So we've got to look here at the gambles of what we're going through. Now, just in light of this one ruin that I've just got, imagine for the past two years we've been complying, blah, blah, blah. We're doing all the right things by what we thought was right. Now the truths are coming out, which they are. Thank you so much for giving me that ruined stone that says the truths are coming out. Because I said that even before I pulled the stone, right? People are waking up. And if they haven't woken up yet, they're not going to. Okay, it's a psychological um, effect where people just do not trust or believe what the truth actually is. So it's time now to concentrate on ourselves. It's time now to think about who we want to be in five years time when what happens next year is over. Oh God, I, I can't wait till 2025. You know, when I died in 2002, she told me, you know, my great, 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 great grandmother who I was with, she actually said to me, it started in 2015, but no one will know until 2019. And then she said, um, you think you're getting through it in 2022, but 2023 to 2025 is a doozy. So it's like prepping us for what's coming. So I just said the word prepping. 
So my suggestion, which is my own opinion, please know that it's my free will. You do not have to do what I say, right? Start collecting your food products. Start putting away a couple of dollars a week, okay? But just remember, if this goes the way that the plan is that I've heard and other psychics have heard, money will mean butt kiss next year, okay? Um, the cashless society will be taken over, okay? Through that, um, I don't like saying three-letter things, so let's just call it um, Niagara Falls, um, witches, and origami, if you know what I'm saying by those three letters, okay? Niagara Falls, um, what was the one? Witches, and O, origami, okay? All right, so let's get into this. All right, let's go there with today's spread. So we've already done the Ruin Stone. What a beautiful gamble card we have today, okay? My little lovey-dovey cards is what I've just pulled secondly. That's what she wanted me to do. And it says, love fixes things when they break. Love fixes things when they break. So this is now our time for healing. This is our time now, psychoanalyzing who we are, what have we been doing our whole lives, what changes do we want to change, okay? Now, the thing is, a lot of people don't, uh, don't realize their behaviors. You try and tell someone that gossips every day, hey, mate, why do you gossip all the time? Why don't you change doing that? They've got to think, huh? I'm just being me. So we've got to point it out to them, okay? But remember, if you've noticed that um, it's how much energy, time, and effort that we want to put into someone, are they worth that effort? Do you honestly believe that there will be some sort of gamble, oh my gosh, that they will change, okay? The gamble card. So there sometimes, I say it all the time to people, sometimes the best response is no response. If you see somebody doing something over and over and over and over and over and over again, no matter how much you've tried through free will and free advice to say, hey, mate, why do you keep doing this? You know, it's like banging your head against a wall and expecting a different result. If they keep on going after all your effort, time, etc., <clears throat> sometimes we simply must walk away in silence. Sometimes... No reply speaks so much more than a 15-page email, okay? So, there you go. Love fixes things when they break. Who are you investing your time in? Who are you putting out that energy to who you know will benefit from what you're trying to tell them, okay? All right. Louise Benton card is my next card, so let's get straight into this. If you do want Louise's cards, the link is below. Here's her website, but the link is below, okay? She designs all the artistry on the front, and she also creates all the words on the back. So I'll just put it here, as I haven't read it yet. So if you want to pause the screen, here it comes. Okay, it's the witness card. Life unfolding and dissolving shifting changing ever revolving time moves on and seasons flow golden sunrise evening glow eternal witness to all that arises and passes away into the realm of silence didn't i just say sometimes the best response is silence right remembering forgetting expanding contracting, tumbling, falling, raise, rising and overflowing, empty fullness, pure consciousness, all and nothing, forever begotten. And the words at the bottom is, I am the eternal witness. So how do we connect this card with the others that I've already had? This is where we think of who we are. Ultimately, the only person who we truly witness in life is ourselves. 
We could never judge somebody why they do a certain behaviour. We don't have to look at them and say, my gosh, you think you've had it bad, you haven't seen my perspective. We don't know what it's like to walk in their shoes. So the only witness that we can truly bear to be is ourself. Okay? So this is where we look at ourselves. Life unfolding and dissolving. What are the new possibilities coming in through that gamble? Okay? What are we willing to fix within ourselves and those who are worthy within our lives? Love fixes things when they break. Okay? Remembering as opposed to forgetting. So what do we remember about things in our past? Go back to 2018, before all this weirdness started. Okay? This plan, because it is a plan, okay, of what's coming. So, remembering certain aspects, but forget the things that don't really mean anything, okay? Expanding and contracting. So this could be expanding your tribe of who you associate with. And contracting means um, letting go of things. How to release, letting go of things to make new possibilities to come in, okay? Tumbling and falling, rising and overflowing. So this is our time to really assess who we are on the inside. Who is important to us? What matters to us? And it could be time to take that gamble through the ruined stone where we allow others to walk away because we don't want to put that energy into that situation anymore. Okay? So now we go over to this one. I only saw the card, then I looked it up. I didn't read it. It's the Ace of Wands. Oh my gosh. Ace of Wands. I've got it here in my book because I find it in my book. So then I can just read it out. Are you ready for this one? <clears throat> the Ace of Wands symbolizes the seeds of an idea. Now, isn't that the gamble? Seeds of an idea is taking a gamble, correct? Um that you are very excited about. So put that passion and that love into it. Put that emotional attachment into what we want to do. Because once we do that, it sends out like a pheromone so other people are attracted to it. So if you're looking to start a new business or a new hobby, think about how passionate you are about it. Do it from the heart. Because then it will express itself in the work that you do and others will then want to come and buy it because they're attracted through that energetic attachment to it. Okay? This frequently has a career or business orientation. A new job or the start of a new business venture or are typically situations around which this card appears. Now, look how many businesses are now opening up around the world. Isn't that a good one? So this shows that we're starting to become normal again. <laughs> Pre-2019. Okay? We're starting to be back to normal. Okay? No things on the face. Okay, they're not saying things in the arm now. Okay, and not required. Okay, isolation is no longer needed. Okay, things like that. So now we've got our opportunities, because they are opportunities, remember. Even bad things are opportunities for growth. So we've got all these opportunities, like that gamble card coming to us. We're giving ourselves the opportunity to fix the past through our love. Okay. And we also stay a bit witness to it, okay? The witness card. Okay. Okay. As there is a great deal of creative energy indicated with this card. Well, creative energy. Okay? That's where you put your passion into it, as I just said. Extremely good for anyone involved in creative endeavours. Due to the element it represents, this card indicates a high degree of energy and action. So this is our action day. This is our... The coming week is the gamble. Will I start going to that group? Will I get rid of those friends so I bring in new friends? Will I start applying for new jobs? Will I look for a new house to live in? That sort of gamble is all representative this week in the cards and the ruined stone. Okay. Um, and so it holds a force of strength, enthusiasm, and excitement. All the ingredients required at the outset to make a venture successful. Remember, love heals what is broken. Okay, so 
We've all been broken for the past two years. <laughs> Now's the time to heal. Work it out. Who you want to be and where we want to be in five years when the next two years has gone past, okay? It can also represent an entirely new way of life with the anticipation and excitement that such a transition would bring. <clears throat> so my cards this week is all good news. I love it. Okay. What are you doing in your life right now to bring positivity, love to others as well as yourself? Remember, we can never love somebody else unless we love ourselves first. We can never life oh thank you life is never a competition okay love is never a competition love and love life what she's talking well i can't keep up because i'm talking okay life is not a competition and neither is love so don't play the blame games with others oh i haven't been able to do this for two years don't involve other people tell it to yourself in the mirror Look yourself in the mirror and say, right, Linda, I use myself as an example. <clears throat> right, Linda, you haven't been able to do that for the past two years. You used to do this and that and that. <clears throat> what are we going to do now to make those opportunities that we are witness to? So we've got all these cards on our side showing that we'll be successful. So remember, love always wins. So if you're negative, nasty, sarcastic, abusing, gossiping, they're all nasty behaviours, remember guys, okay? Comparing yourself to others is not a healthy thing. It never is because life is not a competition. We are all unique, we are all special, and we are all the same, ultimately, okay? We all buy, die, we all birth, we all die, we all go up to the same place. No one is better than another, so stop thinking about who's in charge because ultimately the universe knows those in charge are equal to those who are subservient okay as soon as we make up our mind and say you are the same as me I have the same rights the same capacity and the same free will to do what I want this energy shift of the last seven years is going to start changing okay <clears throat> So, beautiful reading for today. What are you going to do to make it happen is the question. Ooh, love my work. Love you all. And talk to you soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.